he asks a great question, which is, are there any treatises or collections similar to like, you know, Feneroli, Ferno, but aimed at guitar-like instruments? Do we have actual publications where people are trying to teach counterpoint, basso continuo, partimento, but specifically aim for the guitar? It seems like there's this gaping hole of pedagogy when it comes to composition specifically on the guitar. Nicola would be the best to answer uh, this question. Okay, I'll go with this. Um, historically, we have some little examples like the method of uh, Kirkman, where he makes all the examples of uh, Rue the Octave. We have uh, uh, some uh, Merz cadenzas, but you know, also in the method of uh, Molino. But these are not, uh, let's say, methods on these things. Are just things like you know there is a guitar method and and there are some cadenzas. It, it is like a trace of a, of a historic evidence that a, a guitarist should be able to accompany, should be able to make a cadenza, not just to read a cadenza like we were trained. Okay, in the school we, we just read the cadenza, but if anyone will uh, have asked me to me when I was 16, uh, please make a cadenza in D major. I was, what, what is that? <laughs> where's, the, where's the score? And uh, in modern times, uh, uh, I remember there was this book by Dusan Bogdan, which I admire a lot him uh, as a composer. I, I played a lot of his music. Uh, and uh, he wrote this book, uh, it was uh, Counterpoint for Guitar, which I read like uh, maybe 10 times, but I, I was never able to apply this kind of book because I think it was a, it's a beautiful book. It's beautiful. The idea of uh, it's, it's trying to connect the, let's say, the essence of early music, the motivic mutation that we can find in the Ricercari and Fantasia for the Lute, uh, like in Doland, like in Francesco da Milano, Marco dall'Aquila. It's trying to reconnect this kind of uh, a way of making music uh, with a more modern way of making music uh, in his own compositions. And in fact, he wrote a lot of things uh, inspired by ancient uh, lutenists uh, and doing this with uh, also a jazz background uh, and multi -polyrhythm, polyrhythmic structures. And I found super interesting the idea, uh, but I was not able to, let's say, to, to use this book which I have, and I try to read really 10, 20 times. I, I, it was like every year I tried to read this book, <laughs> uh, but it was not, um, let's say, something I could use. And I, I saw already maybe 20 years this book is out, uh, and it didn't make, the, let's say, the, the way you yeah, should uh, have done among the, the guitarists. I, really, I have uh, the greatest admiration for Dusan Bogdan, which, uh, but... Um, this book, uh, I think, is, is not a really good example of how we can apply, or how we can practice counterpoint and these kind of things. And as I said before, uh, yeah, uh, in the comment was, uh, of course, Weiss uh, should have studied the uh, practical counterpoint on the instrument. Yes, and so uh, did, of course, uh, Giuliani and Carulli and so on. But uh, I think they, they did this, uh, like, uh, probably, probably Sor on the keyboard. Because when they, he was. Yeah, Saw played the organ, right? Didn't he play the organ? Yeah, in the organ. Because when you were into the school and he was in Montserrat, you you should study these things on the keyboard. There was no guitar uh, tutors. While uh, both uh, um, Giuliani and Carulli, they were cello players. So <laughs> so interesting. We can imagine they they manage. Like uh, like we, we do today, we, we manage how to bring these ideas to the guitar. And of course, they were amazing talents and they did it they did great. And, uh, and yeah, and we can do our best to do mostly the, more or less the same, uh, the same things. But even in Vice's time, did, didn't they have any sort of like, did they, what was it so patchwork when it comes to the guitar in terms of instruction? But for example, we know uh, Bach had some uh, lute students. In fact, the let's say the lute suite by Bach, uh, he, he, he didn't really write for for the lute. But some of his students they made arrangements of uh, of the 
uh, E major um, suite, ba -ba 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 and the cello suite in G minor. So uh, he was in contact with these uh, lute players, but we have no, said, no testimony, no really real testimony of tutors for, uh, you know, for practical counterpoint. For Turbo, we have uh, um, the book three of Kasberger that is, is just for Turbo and it shows uh, a lot of diminutions for the Turbo. How can improvise, how to go from one key to another key. We have some other, uh, we have the New York manuscript with all the cadenzas in, in, uh, with diminutions for the turbo, but there's not like uh, a real method. Wow, there, there it is. I mean, that's just reality then. So, I mean, I, I have to say I'm so grateful. And thank you, by the way, Solomon, for the question. And I'm so grateful for this amazing panel. I'd like to end off maybe final thoughts. We'll just go around. We'll start, maybe we'll start with Austin, then Nicola, and then Brandon. Final thoughts on Basso Continuo, Partimento, and just to leave the audience with a few things uh, to, to wrap up the conversation. Austin, why did you go off first? Yeah, um, I'll kind of piggyback off that last question, but um, I think the thing I would like to leave with is just if you're wanting to learn how to do play, you know, the 18th, 19th, early 19th century style on the guitar, the best place to look at because there's no treatises that are really full for the guitar is to look at the music so um and with that you have to it's not going to be like text saying oh here's this do this now you know move to this you have to you have to be able to figure that out on your own so the giuliani the opus one um i would say the first three parts are about technique and various things but really the fourth part i think is like a, a lessons on style they're not technically challenging, so they're, they're good for a beginner, but they're, they're really beautifully set, some basic compositional principles. So that would be a good place to start because um, you can look, the counterpoint's really clear and it's really elegant and it's quite simple. So it's a great way to start to look at um, how, uh, how to do this, but it's, look at the repertoire. They figure that stuff out, look at it, figure out what they did, and then extrapolate it out. So it's we have to do extra steps, but that's kind of the way things are for the <laughs> instrument. Yeah. Well, guitarists are nothing but resourceful, aren't they? Aren't we? 